Hey guys, it's Fels with Dirty Diesel Customs. I'm just here to walk you through the use of the EFI Live tuning device and how to install the switch. All right, so there's a couple key things to look out for on these Cummins. Some of the big things we get asked a lot is the 06 to 12 Cummins is a five position switch. And then the 19 plus is also a five position switch. And then the 13 to 18s are a four position switch. One of the other key things to watch out for is the 08 to 12 Cummins may require a boot patch file. One of the main issues that we see with a lot of files that end up failing is they don't have a good battery charger on the truck. So we typically like to use a snap-on charger. It holds a really good steady voltage on the truck. It doesn't have to be this one, but as long as it has a good charger that can maintain a good voltage, you should have no issues with it. If you're using it without and the voltage drops too low, there is a possibility that it can cause a ECM failure or just the tune file to fail altogether. All right, so we just turned our battery charger on and we're gonna get ready to tune this truck. So when you get your device, it's gonna show up like this. The, all the tunes that you're gonna require are already gonna be preloaded on it. So what you're gonna wanna do is plug it in to your factory OBD2 connector right here. What you're gonna be careful of is you don't want to tune through your switch. So when you hook up your EFI Live Auto Cal to tune, you do wanna make sure that it's in the factory OBD2 connector. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn your ignition to the run position. And then once you get to the main screen of your device, you're gonna to wanna to slide over to the tuning tool and click the check mark. You're gonna select the tuning and you're gonna come down to program full. Once you're in the program full, you're gonna to wanna to check that the six digits in the tune file match the last six digits in your VIN to verify it's the right file for your vehicle. Now, if you had an 08 to 12 Cummins and required a boot patch file, you would see that displayed here. You're gonna to wanna to load that first and then your custom tune file after. Once you come all the way down and you highlight the selected tune, you can click the check mark. This is gonna give you a couple warnings that you should read through and then proceed. Now the file has started loading. When you first select the file, it's gonna license the controller or the ECM of the vehicle. Once that's done, it comes up with a little okay check. You check that, and then the device will continue with the custom tune file on the vehicle. Okay, now our tune file has completed successfully. So you want to exit out and it's gonna ask you to switch the ignition off and complete the countdown. Okay. Now once the countdown's complete, you just wanna verify that the tune was successful and fire the vehicle up. Okay, there's a few places on this truck in particular that work well to mount the switch. One of them is right here. This panel pops out nice and easy and the switch can be mounted here. Uh, or on a lot of the trucks, there's a little panel here that pops out that mounts really nicely for the switch as well. In this particular instance, the customer wants the switch mounted down here. Okay, so to pop this panel off, the easiest thing is if you get a small flat blade screwdriver and there's a nice little hole that they put in here for you to slide it in there and just pop the panel right out. Okay, so I've already trimmed a little ridge off of the center here, so we can drill a 3 8 pilot hole through to mount our switch. So you're just gonna wanna line that up right in the center. And it starts slow. There we go. Got a nice hole drilled through to mount our switch. So now to mount the switch, uh, there is an optional eighth inch tab that you can mount here. Most of the time it's not required. The washer and nut are more than enough to hold the switch in place. So I normally just trim that off with the little side cutters. And you just wanna take the 
13 mil, loosen the nut off the top. Set that down. And then you're gonna wanna take this little lock washer that they provide off as well. Now in this case, because this is a 2013 truck, we're gonna have it on a four position switch. So you can take out this little lock and then on the side, on all these holes, you'll see the positions one, two, three, four, and so on. So when you slide this back in, you wanna drop it onto the four position pin and then to verify that's in the right place, we're all the way to the left is one and we're gonna go two, three, four, and it locks on us. Now, once that's completed, we're gonna to wanna to take our switch, slide it through our hole, and then we want to put our lock washer on first and our nut after. Okay, snug it up by hand. And then I'd recommend going about a half to three quarters of a turn to snug it up. Keep in mind that the threads are plastic and if you go too tight, they will strip out. There are these little stickers that you can put in underneath the switch that'll give you an idea of your positions one through five. Uh, some customers prefer with, some prefer without. This particular customer doesn't want the sticker on, so we're just gonna leave that part off for now. And then to install your button on there, slide it on. I like to try to set it so that one and four position are about even, and there's a little set screw on the bottom here. So you wanna turn it in. And when it gets, when you get into contact, about a quarter turn should lock it in place. And then just verify that your dash mark lines up even side to side when you cycle from one to four. Now to mount the switch, they give you this nice little tuning cable. And this end here needs to be hooked up to your switch. So the best way to do that is just reach underneath this panel, just give it a little pull and it'll pop right off. Once you've done that, just take this wire and just slowly feed it up the side and you'll have it come right out where your switch is going to be. Now you just want to take that and plug it on to the back of your switch. And once that's done, this panel can get popped right back in place. And this panel can go right back in place. So to install the rest of your switch, you're gonna take this end. This piece here is going to replace the factory OBD2 connector. And the factory OBD2 connector is gonna plug into this portion of the device for your shift on the fly. So the best way to get that out is you just gotta depress the little tabs on either side of the OBD2 connector and just pop it out the back side. Now once you've got that popped out, you can plug that portion of the OBD2 connector in, and then you can take the other section and slide it up top. And it's gonna push right through where the factory connector was and click in place. Now that the tune's installed and the switch is located, the last step is just taking the rest of this wiring, bundling it up neatly, and using a few zap straps to tie it up under the dash. And to verify the tune was successful, fire the truck up and take it for a good drive and see if you have any issues. There you go. And that's everything you need to know.